What's going on and welcome. Today we're going to be showing you how to create a custom stock screener here on the Robinhood platform. We're using the web application, but we'll also explain how you can do this on your mobile app. So you're going to want to do first is pull up Robinhood, whether it's the web application or it's on your phone. If it's on your phone, here's what you're going to want to go ahead and do. You're going to want to go to where it says investing and then go to lists, select create watch list or screener, and then go from there, follow what we're going to do. If you're on the web, go down to where it says lists, which we have right here. Click on the plus sign. When you click on the plus sign, you'll have the option to create a watch list or create a screener. That's where you want to go. Click create screener and boom, now we're in. We're going to click on get started. And now we have a bunch of starting points that you can essentially start at, okay? So if you were to look at like the Robin at home page, you'll see things like this, where you'll see like, you know, 52 week lows, highs, analyst picks, earnings, dividend yields, like those things will pop through on your like home page, like underneath where it says your portfolio value and stuff when you kind of scroll down. And that's a good place to start for some, but if you want to create your own custom screener, then of course, the top left option is best for you here. And here you can literally start from scratch and go. But just like that, you can still look at a bunch of those different signals, whether it's technical or price or whatever, or fundamental. Um, they'll have those filters essentially set for you that you can still add to your own custom screener. Because maybe you want to see stuff like stocks that are down towards lows, but that have, you know, good analyst price targets or high analyst ratings. You know, something like that might be, you know, worthwhile to you. I don't know. Uh, but then you can you can add that into your own custom screener rather than having to go back and forth between different lists and try to compare and contrast, okay? So what we have right now is nothing. You've got Apple, Microsoft, Google. You essentially have uh, the stocks. It's filtered by market cap because it has this uh, little arrow down and it has this little white bar. So it's stocks sorted by market cap right now. You can change this. So if I were to click on volume, now it's going to sort stocks by volume. What stocks has the, have the most volume? Mullen. Funny enough, that's honestly kind of sad, but it is what it is. Tess is up there. Um, so cool. Now where it says watch on the right hand side, this little plus sign will be able to add to a watch list. So for example, if I have a watch list, I can either create one or whatever. I can add stocks from my screener to my watch list. That may be a good idea. Or you could just create your own screener and then save that screener and then stocks that fit the criteria will always pop in the screener and then you can just come back to the screener every so often and then check in if there's any new stocks here. So a couple ways to go about it, but maybe you're looking at, hey, I have this criteria and I want to have, you know, I want to build a portfolio or I want to day trade, but I want to have only, you know, these stocks that meet this criteria in that list. And then I'm going to save that list. So let's go ahead and do something like that. Okay. Let's just say that we want average volume to be very, very high. We want this to be, you know, stocks that have a lot of volume, a lot of action, people are trading these things. Let's go with over 1 million. Now, on each of these selections, there's this little question mark. This is going to show you, or it's going to give you an explanation of what exactly it's being sorted by. Because when you see average volume, you're like, okay, what does that actually mean? Is it today? Is it this week? Is it on the year? Well, in this case, how many shares have been traded over the, on average each day over the past 30 days? So they take the past 30 trading days, and they say, how many on average are traded? Boom, here's your list. So now you got the stocks that kind of fit that requirement. Boom. So now, let's, before I save it, let's go back at the back button. We have that selected. Okay, cool. And this little green dot showing up means that we've got some customization there. If I click on the, on the trash can, it'll get rid of that. Okay. So then it has average volume now popping up on our main screener page. If I want to go down, let's go to share price. I don't want to talk about, or I don't want to mess with stocks that are, let's say under five or under 20 bucks, let's say under $5 a share. So over five bucks a share, click on that. Okay. Go back. Now I want to go down. Let's see. Let's keep going through market cap. Maybe I want that. Maybe I want sector. Maybe I want that. Okay. Let's go to financial analyst ratings. Maybe I want stocks that have either a hold or a buy, not a sell or mixed. Maybe that makes sense to you. And these ratings, for example, are from the past 100 days from independent research firms, past 100 days. Okay, then options, implied volatility, options availability. Yes, I want other options available because I want to be able to sell covered calls or on my longer term holdings, or I want to be able to trade these things every day, potentially. That might be what I'm trying to do. So I want options to be available. Okay, boom. Now, right there, we've got our list of stocks developing. Still though, 
We haven't really narrowed this in too much. Let's be honest. It still says 250 plus items. So let's go in and now let's see if I can adjust this to really dial this in. Uh, let's see. Yearly percent change. Let's go to sector. Sector. Let's go to, let's see if we were just to look at, I'm going to go down to where it says, let's go to telecom, telecom and software. Boom. Now, when I click on that for the, for, for just purposes of this example, 18 items, see how it says 18 items. So now when I really dial this in, click on both software and telecom. Now we got 127 items. So now you really kind of dialed this in pretty nicely. So let's say I want to save the screener, click on save screener, add it to my list of say, let's say, I don't know, let's say, let's call it telecom and software. Um, trade list because these are stocks maybe i want to trade right boom boom save it give it a second to load and now we have a list saved so here is now our list if i were to now leave this go back to where it says the investing page go back to the page now we're running the day by the way the market's going down i guess uh, and boom we have our telecom software trade list boom so this is now a screener so where it says screener i click on this nothing's gonna happen i click on the actual software trade list title it'll open up the screener boom i have my screeners here and then i can go create a new one so i can keep going through here and creating new screeners based off different criteria but in a nutshell that's how it works now again inside of here i could sort by price when i click on one of these different categories i'm able to sort by that category for example price daily change volume market cap average volume all that stuff and then of course the plus sign allows me to add it to my watch list super easy. This right here, this little edit symbol at the top allows me to change what I'm displaying on this. And I can change that to a bunch of different options, sectors. I can change the market cap, volume, price. Maybe I don't want price showing. All these things I can customize to what I see and what's showing up underneath my list, okay? So there you guys have it. That is how to create a custom screener on Robinhood. In a nutshell, any questions, comments, leave them down below. It's actually a new feature, believe it or not, that Robinhood just came out with. And I think it's a good addition to their platform, right? Other platforms had screeners or have screeners. And so if you want to keep people on yours, why not have your own screeners as well? So for most people, this is probably going to be good enough. But obviously, there's a lot more detail you can get into and dive deeper into other screeners with whether technicals or other deeper dives uh, on other platforms out there if you want to take it a step further. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up button. Consider subscribing and consider sharing with a friend, especially because this is a new feature and people don't really know this is available on Robinhood just yet. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.